In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this demonize or black eyes effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So in order to do this effect, first of all, we just want to track the motion. And once we've tracked the motion of each individual eye, then we want to create a black solid and mask that to fit the shape of the eye. So let's just begin with the tracking. So in order to track this, we first just want to create a new null object. So we'll go layer new null object and then we'll just create another null object as well so layer new null object then we'll select the bottom eyes layer or our footage layer we'll go roughly through to the point where the eyes are open so here then we'll go window and we want to find the tracker window so tracker is enabled which means if we go over to the right you can see we've got tracker over here now we want to track motion and you just want to select position. Don't select rotation, don't select scale, just select position in this example. Then your motion source should be your footage layer, current track, tracker one, track type can be transform. Then we're just going to zoom in to the footage and we're just going to place that on the eye. Now, as you can see, I'm getting a reflection of a light here and this is what I'm going to use as my tracking point. So you could just place it in the center of the eye, but I'm going to use this because this is really nice and contrasted with the surrounding area. So this should do a nice track. So if I just press play and track that forward, you can see that's going to do a really good job at tracking forward. So if I just play this back, you can see that's done exactly what I need it to do. However, though, I've only tracked forward from halfway through the footage. So now I need to track back. So go to that first point where I first started that and then I'm just going to press this button here, analyze one frame backwards. And we'll just keep doing this, we'll go one frame backwards every single time until we get to the point where the eyes start to close. And as you can see, this is going to get a little bit more difficult to guess where that is. So you're just going to have to try and eyeball this and pretend where that is. So just move this up so it's roughly in that same position as it was before. And then we don't need it from here because the eye is completely closed at this point. So we'll just run through. And as you can see, that's tracked perfectly. So we're just going to select edit target. We'll select null one, press OK. Then we'll just apply. And you want to apply the dimensions to X and Y. So now we've created a null object and that tracking data is tracked to null one. So this means if we attach anything in here, so let's go layer new solid and create a dark gray or a black solid. If we just draw a very quick mask around the eye, so around here, if we now parent and link this to null one. So if you're not seeing that, by the way, then right click up here, select columns and select parent and link. So link that to null one and you'll notice that should now be tracked to the eye. So that's following that movement perfectly. However, we'll come back to that once we've tracked the other eye. So let's just get rid of that solid for now. And let's just go and track the second eye. So we'll go through to that similar point. So just when the eyes have opened, we'll zoom all the way in and we'll select the eyes layer. We'll select track motion. And this time we want to make sure it says eyes tracker two transform position and then you can edit the target to be a null two and as you can see it's going on to this same eye so we're just going to move this track point over to the left eye this time and as you can see there's less of that reflection here so this might be a little bit imperfect but just place that roughly in the center of the eye then we're just going to press play and let that track forward and as you can see that stayed exactly where i needed to stay so we'll just go back to that first keyframe and we'll just track backwards, making sure that is tracked onto the eyeball perfectly. Again, as the eyelid closes, you're just going to have to try and guess where this would go. Generally, I would just keep this close to where the other keyframes were. If you move around too much, then unfortunately this won't look great. And there we go, the eyelid's completely closed. So if we zoom back out and we track forward, you can see that is now tracked onto the eye. So edit target, make sure this is null two, and then we can apply and press OK. So now we've got motion tracked footage of both individual eyes. So this is where we can go ahead and add our solids in. So we'll go layer new solid. 
make this a dark gray or a black. Then we'll just turn this off, link that to null one, which is the right eye. And then at this point, you just want to go up to the pen tool and we're just going to draw a mask around the inside of the eye like this. Perfect. Now, if we just turn that back on and we track backwards, you can see that is doing what it needs to do is roughly staying where it should sit. Of course, as you can see, this eyelid is closing, so we're going to have to animate the eyelid to go over this black layer. But for now, that does exactly what we need it to do. If we zoom out, you can see that's roughly in position. Although my edges are a little bit, as you can see, they're a little bit square. They're a little bit of a hard edge. So to make that nicer and more natural, we'll just go into masks, mask one, I'm just going to increase the feathering a little bit. And then I'm just going to add some expansion onto that as well. There you go. So that is doing what it needs to do. Of course, again, if these edges look too hard, then you can always delete a point and then you can make a new point, but hold on and drag to one direction to create this curved point on the mask. And then from there, you can just move this down and adjust these points that you now have this nice curved edge. But once you've done that, you just want to do the same on the other side. So we'll create that same new solid. We'll turn this off for now and then link that to null two. Then we're just going to draw a mask around this other eye. Again, if you want to make these corners or these points in the mask rounded, then just hold down when you're creating that point. Then we'll turn that on. And as you can see, that's doing what that needs to do as well. I am going to go into that mask though and I'm just going to increase the feathering a little. So we'll go up to three or four and then just add a little bit of expansion just to round off those hard edges. So if you see, we've got this basic effect now in place. So it looks half decent here, but obviously when the eyelids are closed, that's overlapping. So we're going to have to mask around those in a moment. But for now, we're just going to create a shadow around the eyes. So we'll go layer, new, solid. Make sure this is black. Press OK, and then we're going to attach this to this eye. So we'll attach that to null one. And then we'll just draw a mask around the outside of the eye like this. We'll turn that layer on, go into the masks, increase the feathering all the way up to a nice high number, somewhere around three, four hundred. And then we'll just pull the opacity down just a little bit like this. So I'm just going to create a, another new solid. So layer, new solid, press OK. We'll track this to null two. Turn this off. Again, we'll draw a mask around this eye now. Then we'll just turn that back on, go into the mask, and we're just going to increase the feathering all the way up. We'll increase the expansion, and then we'll just pull the opacity down a little bit. So essentially, we're just adding some shadows in here. Before we carry on with this video, I first just want to take a very quick break to talk about the Brooker Films Skillshare courses. Now, over on Skillshare, I have a variety of courses, including an introduction to Adobe After Effects. I also have an in-camera video transitions course, a stop motion course, green screen course, and so much more. So if you're interested in learning more about the world of filmmaking, then click one of the links in the description below. Now, back to the video. But now we just need to address the issue of this eye opening. So in order to do that, I'm just going to turn off these shadow layers. I'll make a copy of the original eyes layer, drag that to the top, and then I can just rotoscope around the eye. So I can just go to the roto brush tool, double click that layer. And as you can see, it's coming up with the tracker. So we're just going to delete the motion trackers. And now we can go back to the roto brush and we could just draw a roto around the eye. So as you can see, it's going to keep this area, but we just want to hold option and then draw inside the eye. So it's going to get rid of this eyeball layer like this. Of course, feel free to make any adjustments. So that's looking about right. And then once you're happy with that, you could just press play to analyze forward. And that will go frame by frame, creating this mask around the eye. So essentially what it's going to do is it's going to create a mask around this, but then it will remove the eye. So it's only going to keep this area. 
So it's going to keep the eyelashes, the eyelids, the round the surrounding of the eye, but it's going to get rid of the eyeball itself. And of course, once you've done that, you can just trap backwards as well. So you can go frame by frame backwards. And that's just going to analyze that. So as you can see, the eyelids closing and that mask is now following that. Of course, if there's any imperfections, as you can see, it's starting to catch the eyelashes. You can just draw over that and include that now. But again, feel free to clean anything up which is selected or removed that shouldn't be selected or removed. Then we'll just keep working through. And as you can see, that is now complete. So we'll just get rid of that there. And now when we go back to our main composition, you can see We've now got that rotated layer on top of this, but at the moment, as you can see, it's a little bit blinky, a little bit all over the place. It's not particularly clean. So I'm just going to reduce the chatter and then I'm just going to feather off that edge. So I'm going to increase that feathering quite high. And as you can see, that should clean that up to where we need it to be. So in order to clean this effect up even further, you would just want to do that same process to the other eye. So you would just rotor around that eye to get that effect there. And then of course, when we turn these shadow layers back on, you can see we've got this problem. So in order to fix that, we just drag that rotor layer under the shadow eyes. And as you can see, that has perfectly fixed that problem for us. But there you go. That is this effect now complete. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.